I was asked the other day about salvation and being born again. And I love it. I love it when people ask me those questions. But at the same time, sad, because there's such a lack of response to the truth. And I had someone tell me, well, I believe, I believe on Jesus Christ. I know that he died for my sins and was buried and rose from the dead on the third day. I believe in God. <clears throat> and that's great. But I ask you, Has there been any difference in your life since you proclaimed belief? Are you now a new creature in Jesus Christ? Is there a desire to read the Bible? Well, sometimes I read. There's no desire. People, it's more than just, I believe. That belief should result in actions. It's more than just, I believe, but then keep living my life like I did before. It has to be. It's, I'm not preaching a work salvation here. I'm saying, but you should be different over and over the Bible says you should be different you should desire the things of God you should desire to know God to know Jesus Christ to be with fellow believers worshiping him but I work on Sundays and find a church that has an evening service on Sundays more than that we need to believe on the gospel of Jesus Christ repent of our sins and it should result in a difference in our lives speaking for myself 21 years ago I repented and believed on Jesus Christ I could I, I knew the crushing weight of my my sins and I realized I wasn't as good as I thought I was and I repented and I cried out to dear Jesus to save me and he did and there was a difference in my life I wanted to know more about him I opened my Bible and I began to read I, I, I appreciated going to church now, whereas before it was a struggle at times. There must be a difference. Without that difference, then you need to examine your spiritual birth certificate, if you will. Jesus Christ came to this earth because of your sins. Your lies, your thievings, your stealings, your, your, your murders. Anytime you hate someone, that's the same as killing them. Because he came to this earth because of your blasphemies. And he died. He died for even what you may consider to be the smallest, littlest white lie. It's still required Jesus Christ to die on the cross for that sin. That's staggering. It should be staggering for you to think about. 1 Timothy chapter 1, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. 
There is nobody that is righteous. Nobody is good. And for all have sinned to come short of the glory of God. I've come short. You've come short. You're condemned and under his wrath. Can't you see that? So Jesus died for your sins. Because God requires death for sin. So you have a choice. You can die eternally, everlastingly in the lake of fire or Jesus Christ died for your sins. He gave his life up for you. You must repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Do it today. Romans chapter 5, But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than now being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him and Jesus Christ alone. Nobody else can save you. Only Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ arose from the dead on the third day. 1 John 5.11 And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life and this life is in his Son. Wherefore he is able to also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, meaning Jesus Christ, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. He interceded for you. Jesus himself said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. What a blessed hope we have in Jesus Christ. Do you hear his voice in his word? Do you hear it speaking to you in his word? must repent Jesus said in, cha in Luke chapter 13 I tell you nay except ye repent ye shall all likewise perish you must believe on Jesus Christ you must repent of your sins for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You must believe on Jesus Christ in him alone. Romans chapter 4, Paul wrote, He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. Jesus Christ is the only way of salvation. You must repent and believe his gospel, that he died on the cross for your sins, was buried, and that he arose from the dead. And when you do that, sincerely and truly do that, there will be a difference. You will be a new creature in Jesus Christ. You will hate your sin. You will hate unholiness. And you will love Jesus Christ. Please believe on him today. For today is the day of salvation.